Okay, so we get started. Um, welcome everybody. Seems like a long time since we've uh, <laughs> seen each other. <laughs> I, uh, I got a life like uh, Tanya suggested, so maybe my face is a little bit more lit. <laughs> anyway, why don't we start with the uh, consent agenda. Um, we have the approval of December minutes. Did anybody have any changes they would made to uh, December minutes? You see all those? Can I have a motion to accept them? I move that we accept the minutes. Second. A second. Okay. All right, I'm going to take three out of three. I think she's a little faster. Any discussion? All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, I think that's approved. Okay, um, chair's report. I had uh, the first thing on my report was that uh, I uh, had asked Bill Tudor to form a committee, advisory committee. He's now changed that to a, a what we in the church call a call committee. So you could call it a church committee. This is a committee for the executive director. Uh, my intent was to actually uh, define what that person will do, how that balances out what Deborah does, and all this stuff. Um, Bill apparently has asked a couple, three of you, to join that uh, committee. Thank you very much. And I think he's off and running with Martha and uh, Martha Scoville and Pat Um uh, The only other thing I would I wanted to uh, uh, say is that uh, the um, well, if there are any questions, but uh, the next uh, community meeting is in February, and that's when we're going. We said that we would have a webinar, and uh, all the board members would be present, and this would be a everything you were afraid to ask. But, you know, it, well, how did it go? Everything you're afraid to ask, everything you wanted to know, but were afraid to ask. Uh, I know that it's uh, inconvenient for some of you that uh, actually have regular jobs and uh, to make it that be great to get, I understand. Um, any comments on the Chairs Committee report? Okay, let's turn it over to Deborah. Sorry, I was trying to unmute myself. <laughs> um, did anybody have any questions about the program manager report? No? Okay. Um, why don't we go start going through the committees and then we'll, uh, uh, and if that's the same the objections, why don't we start going through the committees and we'll put there. Um, Cynthia, you and Bob are up. Cynthia, you're muted. Still muted, Cynthia, if you can hear this. There, sorry. Okay, starting again. Um, I wrote out wording for a phone card policy and see if the board would vote to approve it. AIDNW will provide Northwest NWIRP with money to purchase phone cards for immigrants in the ICE Processing Center in Tacoma. Whenever NERP lets AID Northwest know they have less than $500 in their phone card account, AID will send them $2,000 until we have given them the amount allocated in our annual budget. Uh, 
Uh, is there any discussion? Anybody like? To, well, let's. Uh, I guess we have to have a motion. Do I have a motion? I move. <coughs> I move that we accept the wording of the phone card policy as stated by. Okay. You have a second? Second. Tanya. Who's that? Oh, okay. okay, discussion. Um, I, I'll admit, I, I don't know how much they spent in 2020. Do you have a I tried to contact them and was told it was someone else. And then the other day they said it was someone else. So we're, we're trying to confirm who to talk with and what to find out. Okay. Right. So they haven't asked us for more money, so I assume they still have some from last year, from 2020. Bill, you have yeah, something? Yeah, I'm just wondering is, if, if there's some reason why we can't have our own direct fund rather than funneling it through NERP, because we've spoken with a few, uh, um, or two, that's not very many, people who say they have a hard time getting phone cards. So I just wonder if it wouldn't be better for us to have our own phone fund in there. Or I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I've been told in the past that NERP gets to go into the facility and they get to know who needs phone cards. But then I know through the volunteers that are co communicating with the detainees, they're, they're finding, I, I don't know if we could change the channels. The whole program is run through that Telmate system at the detention center, and it is a really hard system to go through. And that's what NERP was having troubles with, because they'll be in the middle of doing a transaction and it'll it'll shut down. So they are trying, you know, they try as hard as they can to get money to them as soon as possible, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer. They had someone, an intern, helping them at one point who um, to spend more time on it because some of the people that were doing it were staff attorneys, so. So do you, don't, you don't think there's a better way, Deborah? No, because they have to go through that telmate system, which is linked to the detention center for all the phone calls. So. And, and, and well, is the only one that has access? That's. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't have access to do that directly. No, we would have to gain access to do that directly, but um, like I said, it's still going to be a slow process. It's not going to go any faster because it's the system itself that stops them from being able to, to send it on time. Yes, but, I mean, yes, but, you know, terrible uh, way to introduce a statement. It's coming back to Bill's thought or, or just question to put out for us to consider. It takes one step out of the process of work with uh, the transfer of the funds. It might be a headache we don't want to to wrestle with the system directly and have them do it. They also they clearly have more experience at this time. Would we want to be doing that? They're getting requests from detainees themselves for phone cards in their when they speak to them, you know, on legal orientation process. So they're already doing that. So it'd be another person being added to that. I don't know that we couldn't do it ourselves for the requests that we get. But like I said, not all of the requests are coming straight to us. And nor do they all go straight to NERP. Right. And, and I guess that my question was, is there some way we could cover those that NERP doesn't get the chance to cover? So I guess maybe that's out of the question. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I know what the process has been for the past couple of years. I had another question about it, and maybe I just missed it as you were reading the, the uh, proposed um, policy. How does, where did it, where did the first did it speak to how the initial amount was given to them? It sounded like it was when they run out, but it seems like it has to start with an initial amount and, and maybe the, I didn't catch that. Well, I don't, as we said earlier, we don't know how much they have right now. So I can't answer that question. It's what the initial, 
what amount they have right now that's left over from last year. Uh, Cynthia, I think the question is, um, each detainee is given a credit of twenty dollars, which costs us twenty plus some in there, forty one right. something something. Yeah. Is that, that your question, Lynn? It's a little different than that. I. I I understand, I think I understand how Cynthia is answering what she thought I was asking because it's, it, it, it already exists and it's a rolling uh, amount. And, yes. and we're, we're responding, we're supplementing it as needed. But, but I would write the policy from a start, uh, an initial starting point is annually, because we budget annually, we start the year by giving them some amount. Well, not if they then, have money left over. And then when they get down to 500, we give them another 2,000. It it, it 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 could be fine like it is, but it, pre it, it, it leaves silent that there's already some money. If, does that make sense to anyone? I mean, if it's, if we're treating it as a rolling thing though, I don't think it, if we have a set amount, say we're gonna, I don't know, spend, you know, eight thousand dollars a year or whatever, then it doesn't really matter how much they've got now, because we're just gonna give up to that amount, you know, because if they still had it left over. So to me, I, I just, I, I heard it more as like a, a continuation of existing, you know, habits or whatever, just set into policy. Because mm -hmm. I don't think, because somebody already said, you know, if they already have some, we're not gonna just. Give them two thousand more because it's January. Tanya, you have something? I do, and I actually like the way the policy was written because it says up to the amount that we allocate. So every year when we do our bu budget allocation, we get to say how much we're giving overall. Um, and then you know it's just a, a refurnishment as they get low. So I, I like the way the policy is actually written. Um, this is aside, but if. If, if through our volunteers, we're learning about people that want a card, but NERPS doesn't know about them, is there a way to tie that up so people we're learning about can go to NERP and get the cards? I would think the people in visitation would know that. We, we send them messages when they call in for cards. We send the message to NERP saying these people are requesting oh, okay. cards. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Yeah. We uh, were writing with a couple of ladies and actually ended up sending money to them for their cards or to whoever, but yeah, because they didn't, they, they hadn't heard of NERP. Oh. Huh. That, that's why I asked the original question, but uh, the policy as written, I agree with uh, Tanya. It sounds pretty good. Okay, Bill, I had a question about what you said. So you sent them money because they were asking for phone cards. Right, but we just go we go through um Catherine to get that money sent huh. most of the time. Or mm -hmm. we send a message, or if you send a message to me, I'll send it directly to NERP. That Lynn actually my wife actually did the 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 purchasing of the phone card. So that may have oh. been the process she used. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that we probably won't capture the whole population of people at once. Um, sounds like we have a process where if somebody needs uh, access to phone credit, they can either ask NERP to respond to us and we can tell NERP to give them that money. Yeah, they call our they call our hotline to get um, to get money added to their mm -hmm. phone accounts. Okay. Any I, further discussion? No. No. Are we ready to vote? Yep. Okay. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Approved. Uh, Cynthia, you want to talk a little bit about the 2021 budget? Uh, but uh, yeah, I since we last talked, I added one more column into the Welcome Center because um, 
we didn't have anything for the reimbursed travel. And although we hope that ends up being a zero, usually over the year, it ends up being a, a minus amount because we didn't get as much back when we purchased the, the airplane tickets with the credit cards. So that's the only change that was made to the budget. And I, I put it in for just uh, $240. That's an expense. So we have a question on the budget. Is there a corresponding uh, revenue mm -hmm. then for it for when somebody does pay it back? I think um, she'll just enter it as a plus under the reimbursed travel. So it will be okay. all in one, in one account. Yeah, it would be a negative expense. Yeah. Okay. Any questions about the budget for 2021? Tim, did you see did you see my chat that I sent you? Tim? Uh, there's sorry. a lot of people trying to get in. They can't get in because it there's it says that there's another meeting. That the host has another meeting at the same time. Do they have the right um, link to come to the Zoom meeting? Yeah, Charlie sent them all out. Well um, Tim, it, it was Tim what, sent Tim, one out. Tim sent one out just today. Might be I know, different. but he sent one to Charlie and me before, so that's okay. the one they sent out. I hope it's this right one. Uh, can you forward uh, the one I just sent out? There? Yeah, I'll forward this one on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't see them, so I didn't. I haven't. Uh, Do you see anybody? Well, Bill Tudor. He's the only one that's. Oh, okay. Okay, um, anything about the uh, 2020 operating statement that we need to discuss, Cynthia? Um, well, I feel a little remiss because I didn't look at them, although Terry sent them to me, I didn't look at them till today. And I, probably none of you will look at it this closely, but she reversed the figures for how much was in the RV account and how much was in the uh, reserve account. We saw that we have this expenditure coming up. About four thousand dollars for the RV. I I don't I I don't think that's right. I have to check on it because I thought we were down to about two thousand okay. dollars. Um. It's been a process helping Terry to learn what to do and it's taking me more time than I expected. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it will. So I will check on that. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Can we move on to the fundraising committee? Oh, I did have one question. Just uh, are, are we, are we, um, in position to convert to a uh, accrual accounting from cash. Yes, I can't remember. I, maybe we stated that last month, but but we're 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 there. Great, thank you. Uh, do we need to vote on the change to the budget? Oh. Um. I guess we can. Why don't we do that? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, actually, actually, uh, would you mind? I'm uh, I'm not quite sure whether the way in which we describe um, whether you know, doing a cruel, whether when somebody reimburses it, it shouldn't come in on an income line, offsetting the expense in the bottom. I don't think we can do it both on the same side. Uh, so, if you don't mind, I'd like to have finance committee go back. And talk to our CPA and see what he thinks. You see what I mean? Yeah, I know what. 
I know what you're saying, but I'm just trying to think if there's other categories in the budget where we already do that. Um, we do that. Um, no. Uh, I guess not. For the donations now, we're putting in the gross donation and subtracting the fees in another place. Right. So I, I think that we should go back and ask that question before we make the change. Okay. Is that okay? Yep. Everybody knows that we have a CPA volunteer, right? Yeah. No, I'm asking not you, Cynthia. I have to we... say though, the, the budget, I love the new budget layout. It makes it so much easier to read and understand what is happening. <laughs> so great job, guys. Tim wanted it to be one page long, so I feel uh, we achieved it. Yeah. Okay, uh, if you don't mind, we'll hold off on that um, change to the budget, adding the line item. Uh, let the Finance Committee go back, discuss it with the, uh, uh, I forgot the gentleman's name. Daryl. Daryl, Daryl. Um, just, I, I believe I'm correct. But, I want to be sure of that before we go ahead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, so I'll ask him about it, we'll talk about it in February. Okay, um, the uh, Farmers Raising Committee reports. Uh, I think you saw that we had a very successful Giving Tuesday. Um, we, we did very well. Uh, my I think I expressed uh, my concern this weekend that uh, we have a lot of money and we need to show that we're using it wisely to help our clients. Um, but anyway, so that worked out very well. Um, and uh, the folks that, uh, which is primarily Patty Kilpatrick, she did the landing page and a lot of the work. Uh, and uh, that uh, really is, she uh, did a very good job. Um, there were a couple, um, I, I listened to a bunch of lessons learned, uh, if you have a chance, read them, but uh, we really did a very good job of leveraging our email list, and the other thing that I think we probably should explore a little bit more is that getting individuals on that mailing list to use their personal social media, whether it's uh, Facebook or whatever, to actually continue to promote this stuff in the future, our fundraising and campaigns. Uh, as far as the grants that uh, we were granted through this time period, uh, we received, uh, I think I mentioned to you that we received, we've been granted $5,000 from the Kaiser Permanente. Uh, this is an employee um, nominated donation. I talked about it last, last but told me. Uh, the PEG, the Rick Young Foundation, as part of the Giving Tuesday, um, donated fifteen hundred dollars, and then the DECU. Uh, remember, we applied for a grant from them. We were got declined, uh, but as a follow-on, they said, "Well, this is um, flight path," which uh, they just awarded us twenty-five hundred dollars. And then we just learned recently that the grant application we made to the uh, uh, this quality tribe um, came through for fifteen hundred dollars, which yeah, I thought we uh, had no chance on, frankly. But uh, ah, Daryl, we've been talking about you. Your ears must be burning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why, but I have no sound. <laughs> All right, we hear you. So uh, mm. anyway, so month of December was. Uh, we get uh, fundraising opportunities. Uh, I mentioned that we were uh, declined for the uh, Catalyst Grant, which was a kind of a disappointment to me, and also the DEC. But uh, we'll be okay. Any other questions about fundraising? 
All right. Let's move on to our communications and marketing. Hmm. Bill, you're up. Takes me a while to get unmuted. Okay. Um, we met on the 4th and mostly we talked about, uh, well, we talked about a online application form for volunteers. Apparently the form exists and we're still might, I don't know, is, are we still tweaking it? And uh, once we get that going, that's gonna get us a more input for volunteers. However, we have a stack of volunteers already waiting to be trained. Is that right, Deborah? And so we're kind of holding off before we actually publish and, and put it on Facebook and Instagram. And then beyond that, we talked about the newsletter and what all we needed to put in the newsletter, which as you have seen has come out. And uh, anything else you'd like to add, Stephanie or Brianna? It was a brief meeting, so that about covers it. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I guess um, for the newsletter, I thought the second page had too much text on it. We did have some lengthy discussions about that one, and, and uh, but it was it was a nice interview, and I guess we decided we would go ahead and include it and see what we got for feedback. Well, now we have one feedback. Uh, as far as the online application, uh, Deborah emailed me. Uh, I guess our uh, web host, uh, webmaster, uh, has asked for a couple hundred dollars to actually put that online, and mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and include that. And, uh, get that done. and you can make it live whenever you want to make it live. Uh, the other thing that I would mention that uh, is in your Valley Wick is that I got, was contacted by uh, Steve Utek Vasco. He's the videographer that we were working with. He did that. Uh, uh, so he's about to go off and do something, and uh, I'm going to dump this in your lap. To, uh, uh, I asked uh, Nora Sandoval, which well, I believe is part of your committee, uh, to help coordinate this thing, but uh, the whole project I'm going to leave to you to left. Okay? Um, boy, we have not met with Nora Sandoval in our committee. She, no? No. no. I will, okay, I'll send her an email. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so, uh, Mr. Utech is, is no longer going to offer his services to us, but we'll be doing our own videos. No, no, he's offering his services. Oh, I guess I misunderstood. You're, sometimes you're a little bit garbled. I, I don't oh, know I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just... It's not working well? It's working now. It's working okay. perfectly. Yeah. All right. No, no, he emailed me because he's hot to get started. Uh, oh, good. We were going to do it for the uh, Giving Tuesday, which is good. Well, the two people we wanted to do declined. So mm -hmm. we're, uh, right now, he's ready to do something and looking for ideas. Okay. So I will pass that along to our committee. Yeah. And I'll. Uh, Nominate Nora to join your committee. Okay, thank you. And How please. Do you go oh, good. Yeah, if you have her contact info, then I can include her on a Zoom invite. Okay. okay. Uh, Governance committee. Well, there's three items I think that uh, we're uh, uh, reporting on here. The first is uh, which we experienced at the retreat on Saturday was over the last month. The Kendall, Tanya, and I were took the board self evaluation data from the Survey Monkey and formatted it into um, more of a report, which we covered at the retreat. And uh, we'll look for appropriate follow-up actions coming out of that as we move forward, certainly by uh, hopefully crystallizing that more by the February uh, meeting. 
and uh, second is the um, uh, follow up on the issues around taking photos and making videos that arose as a lead up to the Giving Tuesday uh, fundraiser is to um, formulate that into our uh, official policies. Tanya is uh, on point here within governance to do that. And Tanya, if I misspeak, uh, please uh, revise the correct, so it's the correct message. But uh, the thought here is, is to uh, revise the uh, social media policy to address uh, photo and videos and, uh, cons and receiving consent. That's the, the, where we're headed. Does that seem right, Tanya, or, yeah. And with the, object oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that we already have the consent form completed. It's just a matter of putting it into a policy. So if there is something that comes up, I say that we should be able to use the form that was, that was given out. Um, it's just a matter of the policy hasn't been Yeah, so and uh, we're target here is just for that the policy to be offered up to the board at the February board meeting for review and approval or approval. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to suggest that we will try to get it out to you at least in advance of the meeting so you can look it over and if you have thoughts or concerns, um, rather than read it and try to understand it right at the meeting. So that's where we're headed on that. The uh, third item is, and it's interesting because I, Patty Kilpatrick's here, is uh, we've been alluding to um, the possibility of a new board member being um, nominated to the board for several months. Uh, uh, and uh, Patty Kilpatrick is that individual. And uh, so, uh, and she has um, decided she is willing to um, put her name in so very thankful for that. You've heard her referred to uh, quite a few times in regards to the Giving Tuesday event because she, she's on the, a member of the fundraising committee already and has been for some time. And she was uh, played a huge role in terms of that effort for the December uh, event. <clears throat> and uh, so because Tim and I are both on the fundraising committee, we, we have at least have a little more experience of working with Patty and uh, but the uh, if you go to our policies and procedures what we would do uh, next is to have a couple board members uh, meet with her, um, Patty and uh, provide some it's kind of a combination of things is to get us uh, an additional sense of the individual is to allow for some questions on everybody's part to make sure there's a uh, if there's any things that aren't clear Probably lots of things that probably aren't clear, but anyway, is to uh, and then uh, we'll we'll be asking Patty to uh, provide a uh, resume, CV, um, profile of her experience for the board to um, read. And um, what I propose is that either Tim or I, plus two board members that don't know Patty, we'll set up a Zoom. I, that's where we're gonna be doing it uh, now is uh, to get together and, and have a conversation around board and board membership and Patty can query us as well and, uh, and do that. Uh, hopefully it, by the end of January would be nice. Patty, would that time frame work for you? Probably be about an hour, hour, maybe an hour and a half, but I'd say it probably about an hour. Okay, who would, and Tim, do you have a druthers between you or I? I just think to kind of facilitate the conversation, even though, like I said, we're pretty familiar with Patty from our fundraising uh, committee work, but um, do you have a preference between you and I? Me? No, I, you hear me? I, I'm not, yeah, oh. no, I'm on mute myself. You'd like to do it? I was about to add a century. Um, I mean, set up the meeting. I can set up the meeting. Oh, yeah, but, uh, uh, but I don't think the two of us both need to be in that. I, oh, no. And then, so if you're I'd rather be you. please put up your hand, uh, the rest of the board, if, uh, if you'd like to be 
we're going to do this on first come first serve. So at first hand I see is, and I, come on now, let's see some hands here. Uh, we'll have to ask the volunteers. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Well, okay. So, uh, do we, how did we settle out between you and I, Tim? I don't know. Uh, I'll let you do it. Okay, so so Brianna and I will meet with, uh, Brianna and I will meet with you, Patty. I'll set up a uh, Zoom and uh, and we'll go into more specifics around uh, what you can expect in terms of materials about the Board Act, you know, from bylaws to policies and procedures and stuff like that for you to look at. And uh, um, you mentioned using your LinkedIn profile as a descriptor of your experience. And up from, I'm guessing that is likely to suffice, if it, particularly if it's bolstered by an opportunity to be together and, and ask some additional questions if, there's, if they're needed. Is that work for you? Okay, thank you. All right, any, any questions about this? Oh, and so the, uh, if we are, um, complete this step, the idea would be is for Patty to be formally nominated for election. Ideally, I'd like to see this at the February meeting and then the, a full, the full board will vote. And uh, it uh, requires um, two thirds of uh, the board to say yes. Okay, that's what, that's what our policy calls for. All right. So Len. I think in the past when we voted and then the person was able to attend the board meeting. So will do you expect that to happen in February also? You mean like vote, let's say via email and so do a polling and if we if there's uh No, I think I think we we voted at the start of the board meeting and then we welcomed the person if I remember correctly. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I, I know, I know what my po <laughs> policy was, and uh, I mean, I mean, my uh, process was. I didn't mean policy, and uh, but I, um, I didn't, I don't remember that aspect. So, uh, office, the bylaws, what the bylaws say. Well, they don't. They're we're not that granular to say that we would vote at the beginning of the meeting, and then Patty would be on standby, I guess in this ex instance, waiting to find out whether sh she's gonna be joining the meeting or not, seems awkward to me, but uh, yeah, it was Zoom. And I don't, and maybe it'd be better with Zoom than it would have been in person. I know I wasn't standing outside of the library <laughs> at Christ Church waiting to find out whether or not I was gonna come into the building or not. Right. That, now that's my experience, but uh, also it's my memory, which isn't necessarily the best thing in the world, so. Uh, why don't we why don't we make the election on February? And if she's elected in March would be I think so. It it seems cleaner, I guess yeah. I'd say. I know it delays Patty being present at the board, so uh and but there we go. Okay. So recap. Brianna and I will be with Patty in a Zoom. Then Presumably, there'll be a nomination for election at the February board meeting. And then, assuming a positive outcome, Patty will be a board member by, well, she'll be right away. She'll be a board member then. But uh, hopefully, that makes sense. Okay? Okay. All right. That's it from uh, governance. <laughs> oh, oh, Kendall or Tanya, do you have other areas that? Anything you want to add? Okay, thank you. Okay, guess, go ahead, Kendall. I was just gonna say, uh, I don't know if anybody looked into those comments anymore from the uh, from the survey, but if you had anything to add or uh, anything like that, now would be a, an okay time to do that since we're already on our committee. Or if not, we can also move on. All right, why don't we uh, 
uh, general discussion. Uh, there's only one topic, which was the uh, an update on the immigrant housing assistance pilot project. Uh, Stephanie, if you want to, uh, this is for the record, so we need to. Uh, they'll be in those uh, minutes for the week. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> like we talked about um, in the retreat, um, we did provide some financial assistance to, um, I believe, three individuals at um, TCH. Um, I did email on Saturday um, Yasmin and um, Jason, <clears throat> and I haven't heard back from them um, as of yet. And we followed up regarding um, Cynthia's uh, donation as well. Um, but um, it's my understanding that they have received the funds and are just in the process of distributing. Um, they're just looking to get um, W-9s from all the landlords so that they can cut the check and or direct deposit. The pilot project was for two families where we were covering their rent for three months each. Okay, any questions, comments? Okay, uh, anything else to, for the good of the order? Wow, this could be a very short meeting. I, w I was curious, uh, on the three months, do we know when it started? Are we paying any back rent? Is it going to start with February? When will the three months be up so we know to evaluate? I think we'll have to find out from uh, TCH once they actually made the payments. Um, I'm gonna guess that that's covering some back rent. I'm um, like just whenever people stopped having the funds to to cover rent is when we're starting because it's it's just like three months worth of rent, but it's not like three specific months. It's just like whatever their rent amount is, we're just paying that three times over. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's back rent, just from experience. When you um, get some response back from TCH, uh, would you provide a report to the board? Okay. Okay, anything else that uh, needs to be discussed? And I have a motion to adjourn. Nobody so move. Yeah. Second. 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 All right. All in favor say aye. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good Thank evening. You. Have a great night. You'll, you'll take care. Bye. See you, Tim. See you, Bill. <laughs> Maybe you will see me someday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>